Recently, Wondershare approached me asking me to check out their brand new Uni Converter app, and I naturally said, okay, let's check it out. Let's see how it is. And after using it, I can say this is a software that's going to be very much useful for anyone who does video editing or who does anime video editing or if you are a YouTuber or if you upload videos to social media, this is going to be a very useful application that you can use. So without waiting any more time, let's see how good it is. So when you open the app, the very first thing that you get is of course Wondershare's converter, which is as in the name suggests their flagship feature. The converter is, well, a pretty simple feature. If you press, you can select any type of video file that you want, mkb, .gif, mp4, doesn't really matter. You can just drag and drop any file that you want and you can output it into any file format that you want. For example, if I want MOV, I can select it here and I can also select what resolution I want the video to be. It doesn't matter if you're uploading a 480p video, you can still do it and output it into 4K. And if you want like a very efficient file format, for example, MKB, you can do the same. And you can also set it same as the source because that's probably what you should be doing. Anyway, that's their flagship feature, but there are a lot more cool features in the software. This is like a jack of all trades and I'm going to show you why. If I go back, there's this compressor feature, which is another really cool feature. For example, on YouTube, I am uploading a six or seven gigabyte 4K file, but that's not really possible everywhere. For example, if you're uploading on Twitter, I can't really put that entire seven gigabyte 4K file onto Twitter, right? So that's where the compressor comes in. So I can use the compressor software to compress my video files to very low file sizes. Now I'm gonna just use an example here, just as before, but just bear with me here. For example, just think this is like a 10 gigabyte file. I can just put it at like 70% or 90% file size. For example, I can even go down to 30% file size. Now, of course, the quality is gonna diminish based on what the file size requirement is, but like a 70 to 60% is gonna be good for most people and it's gonna reduce your file size and the quality is not gonna be like terribly unwatchable. It's gonna be pretty good and you can just start all and that's pretty much it. Now, these are like one of their flagship features, but we got even cooler features here. If I come back here, here's the editor, which is like a, it has stuff like effects, subtitles, audio, speed, trim, crop, watermark, you know, all the basic stuff, but there are some cooler stuff under the hood. So if I go back here, there's the screen recorder, which you can use to record tutorials. And there's also merger if you want to merge two videos together and a very legacy feature, which is the DVD burner. Now it's not going to be useful for a lot of people today, but uh, if you are someone who still uses DVDs, Hey, this is going to be a useful feature. Now the image converter is just going to be like the video converter. Uh, you can convert images into any file type that you want. Uh, for example, if I come here, I can select a video, which is JPEG. I can output it into WebP. Now I know a lot of people hate WebP, uh, but WebP also has its own advantages. But for example, if you download something off of internet and it's in .webp, it's not really workable with Photoshop or Premiere. So what you can do is just output it to PNG or JPEG and you can use it like normally, which is a very, very hassle free. And it's just like a very cool feature that's useful, very useful. Now is where the real stuff comes in. The fun stuff comes in. So if I go to the tool section, they got a lot of AI features here, which are really cool. Now, first of all, we got the AI video enhancer, which is well. Now, for example, here I got this uh, Full Metal Alchemist uh, clip here, all enhanced and everything. And if I play this clip here, as you can see, you can just see the difference right here. See? so easy to see. It just made the clip sharper. Now, I also have, for example, I'm just gonna go back here. Now, if you're doing anime, I do recommend to use the video upscaler feature. And if you're using human subjects, I recommend to use video enhancement or denoiser. And fr now, frame interpolation is, well, uh, it's your choice. 
I'm not personally a fan of frame interpolation, but if you want to use, of course, you can go ahead and use that. Now the AI image enhancer is the same thing, but for images, and there are a lot of cool features like here for a AI script generator, which you can use to generate scripts. Now personally, I will never use it. I'm not someone who uses AI script generation stuff. I'm not a fan of that, but hey, if you want a script like for like maybe uh, a speech that you're gonna say, uh, somewhere and you just want a script you can just use that now there's also other features like the AI thumbnail maker uh, subtitle editor auto highlight these are all kind of cool video editing features that's useful if you're making anime amvs and the scene detection these are all features that you can use for example if you want to mix and match your uh, footage to your song it's going to be useful now the remove watermark feature is also really cool if you want to remove like a very annoying watermark from an image that you really want. Vocal remover feature is also really cool. You can separate the instruments from the vocals and you can also use voice changer and uh, this is how it's gonna sound like. The noise remover is also useful if you want to clear out all the background noise. And you also got other smart AI features like the smart trimmer, background remover, and AI portrait, which you can use to completely change out your background. For example, uh, you can make yourself be in Japan right from your room. And there are also other features like auto crop and video stabilization, which you can use to make your shaky videos, well, unshaky. So Uni Converter is definitely an app that you can check out. It has a lot of features and it's a really useful application that I think you should check out. Now, if you want to know more about Uni Converter, everything's in the description below. I'll put all the links down below. Now, this is a paid app, but there is a free trial that you can check out. And the free version also comes with some features, limited, but comes with a couple of features and you can check it all down, link in the description below. Anyway guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.